Hello YouTube, my name is Jonathan. Welcome to Jonathan Buford's channel and this week's video. So I was saying in my last video that I didn't know what I was going to do and part of that is because I've just been really busy lately. I've uh, gotten back into school and thought I'd do today's video on an update on progress. And I've got a few notes here so I can kind of stay on track. So what I've got first is the fact that I went to school. I've been, I mean, I went back to school two weeks ago. It's a tough decision, but I've chosen to uh, scrounge up the last of the credits that I need to graduate from the community college up here in Lake Tahoe. So that's what I've chosen. And I'm going that route just because I'm so close to getting my degree. So for me, it's worth it just to have the piece of paper. And really, honestly, that's what I'm doing it for. I think part, I mean, it will help me to a certain degree, maybe a little bit when it comes to my coding classes. And um, like the last two that I've taken, they force you to work in teams. And sometimes when working with coders on a project, it's like hurting cats. It's like hurting kittens it's tough so that'll be helpful because a lot of web dev uh, projects are done with a bunch of people so I'm back in school and because I'm back in school and I'm not taking a coding class I am as, uh, actually back in treehouse team treehouse it's been a struggle lately it's been a struggle to like keep doing the things that I do to move towards becoming a digital nomad and uh, you know, I just started sleeping at night again a couple nights ago and whatever, that is what it is. But um, yeah, back at Treehouse, touch typing. That's actually been a really positive thing for me. I've found out through teaching myself how to touch type that I actually am a self-starter. And I've noticed while I've been practicing lately, I've noticed some bursts in speed. And all I do is I've got this Pomodoro timer. This thing is awesome. I'll provide the link below again for this thing, but if you're doing anything like studying for school, uh, classes, coding, writing, uh, stuff like that where you don't want to get stuck in the computer and like it, it's more um, beneficial for you to just do 30 minute chunks like for reading. Uh, studies have shown that comprehension goes down after like 45 minutes. So what I do is 20 or 30 minutes on and all you have to do is just put the 30 up top, 30 minutes on, timer goes on, when it goes off, it goes beep, 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 beep. So yeah, uh, I do 20 minutes of touch typing. I was 35 words per minute hunting and pecking, and I have now almost gotten to the place where I can touch type at 35 words per minute, which is extremely good for me. Now I slow down when I'm typing like, uh, an assignment for my psychobiology class or something like that. That slows me down a little bit. I've been trying to like comment on social media and YouTube uh, using touch typing and uh, oh yeah, really quick, there's a couple games. I just found one on typing.com, the little uh, uh, monkey ninja word game and all you have to do is go to typing.com and there's a little games link and I just, you know, I've been on that thing for like three months and I haven't uh, utilized those games on there. What I do is I have a game called uh, epistory, I don't know, epistory, typing chronicles, and that's spelled E-P-I-S-T-O-R-Y, and uh, that's actually a pretty fun typing game, and I also have found another game called Z-Type, and that's Z-T-Y-P-E dot net, or something like that, and uh, I'll leave the links below for that, too, because it's uh, super fun, it doesn't even feel like you're typing after a while, so... I've noticed some speed, uh, just speed bursts as far as like, whoa, I'm typing really fast right now. So that's really, really cool. I've wanted to touch type my entire life. Um, so stoked on that. And yeah, that that game that I found on typing.com, it's like, you know, where the fruits come up and you slash it, shh, but you're like, you know, typing. So that's actually, I just had fun doing that. Anytime that I can like, you know, be learning and smiling at the same time. I noticed I was playing the game and I was smiling. That's a plus for me. That's a plus for me. Because usually when I'm doing just the typing the paragraphs on typing.com, which is the other thing I use. I use typing.com. I use the video game I bought on Steam. 
and I use uh, Z-Type. The uh, Z-Type and typing.com keep your stats for you. Like, I don't know how they do that, but um, yeah, they keep your stats and you can see how you're progressing over time. So yeah, you might wanna look into that. I, I started doing that because uh, yeah, I was worried about getting to a place in my coding where there would be a huge bottleneck because I was looking down at the keys and trying to hunt and peck when I'm trying to code. It's not gonna be good. So this solution is working and I'm stoked on the fact that I'm teaching, like, you know, I'm learning, I'm learning um, how to touch type and it's working. So touch typing, going well. I'll leave the links for those games below if you just wanna brush up on your typing or learn how, like me. Uh, still doing that financial program by J.D. Roth called Get Rich Slow. Uh, school starting, we missed a week, but what we've been doing with that is uh, just just a couple things. And this is really important. If you wanna be a digital nomad, you have to get, I mean, you don't have to do anything, but it helps to start to gain control over your finances. Uh, it's, you know, for me, I feel safer, like doing this huge thing of, you know, travel full time and all that in different countries, if I have control over my finances. So just a couple notes on that. We've made an income statement and like some good Excel spreadsheets to let us know our net worth and this and that. And, um, Luckily, my wife's good with Excel and she's better with finance stuff, so that's helpful. But uh, yeah, we're at a savings rate right now of 7.5%. That's what we save every month. And in, in December, we're gonna move that to 12.5. So hopefully by the time we're ready to take off, we have a good cushion to be able to do that um, in, with some degree of comfort. So typing, get rich slow. Yes, also with that process and with, with most of this stuff, as well as this channel, and you know, I've been trying to find out how I can just not use an easy video editor and go straight into Adobe Premiere, go straight into a really good program that professionals use so that I can learn that from, um, you know, off the bat. I've been watching a lot of videos and there's just still so much stuff to do with the YouTube stuff and everything else. So easy does it really. So I wanted to make a point of, of that too. I found that when school started this time, we didn't stop, we didn't stop the financial program because of the fact that we were using easy does it. We've been doing small chunks and I can sit down even if I'm feeling overwhelmed and for like 15 minutes do anything. So we are progressing, there's progress overall main point there's progress and easy does it just you know remembering that baby steps add up is a huge part of that and we overestimate what we can do in a day and underestimate what we can do in a month so little baby steps you know always better than nothing and it's a good sustainable way to continue to grow and move towards what you want to do uh youtube yeah uh i've got some ideas i talked to my aunt and she gave me some good tips thank you aunt lisa um, I'm gonna move the computer away from the wall here and I've I've got to rework this because I got my lighting pretty good for nighttime shooting but now I've got a light here and uh, I was actually using um, a flashlight up against the blinds and I was getting light from two different angles which really uh, you know now I know why they say get light from three different angles when you're shooting like videos like this. So plan is to move the computer, the desk away from the wall. I'm going to get a lamp that comes up here and then I'm going to use my Joby um, tripod, the little magnetic Joby that I have. If you don't know what those are, do a search for them, J-O-B-Y. They have little arms and they can like grab on anything. So I'm going to have a lamp that, you know, because I need, I need more uh, light on my desk anyways. The light the lamp's gonna come over. I'm gonna have my Joby connected to it. There's gonna be one uh, Yongnuo YN300 uh, LED light there. And then I'm gonna have the tripod that I have already over here to the left with another light. And then um, that's about as far as I've got with that. I'm gonna to try to put something in the middle here 
to fill that area. But in the daytime, I have all this great light coming in. So it's still it's still dark in here. Yeah, it's still dark in here. Right? It's better than at night. So that's good. Also editing. So I mentioned Adobe Premiere. I've gone in there. I've watched some YouTube videos. All I really wanted to do was learn how to get the source footage in there and how to edit out the parts that I don't want in so the videos aren't too long. So I'm almost there. Uh, this video might be edited and it might not be. I got a lot of stuff to do, but yeah, I'm right there. I'm so close. So that's done. Uh, perk. Oh yeah. The last thing I wanted to mention was I've already noticed since we are trying to, uh, you know, we're focused, we're focused on this. We're working on it. Like I said, we're doing easy does, but we're moving all the time towards being digital nomads, moving all, all of our income online. And some, some days that we do more than others, but I've noticed a really big perk of just choosing this lifestyle and choosing to move towards it as a goal is that I'm more strategic about my purchases where before I would just buy something and a lot of times, you know, have it be a per purchase that was, you know, something I regretted or something that like took up space. Already when I'm thinking about stuff, even with the equipment that I'm buying, my lights and, um, you know, what's the thing that holds up the light, you know, but just the equipment that I'm using for the tripod. When it comes to stuff like that, I'm like, well, how, how am I going to feel traveling with that? How is that going to be? Is that going to be something that's going to be very versatile that I'm going to be able to use in a small apartment? I don't know where we're going to be living. Some hut. I don't know. I have no idea. So I'm trying to, you know, ask myself questions like, is this going to be something I'm going to want to travel with? Is this going to be something that I'm going to be able to hook up in a really small living space wherever is this something that i'm going to be able to use to film on the go or um you know uh how is this gonna be um you know is this gonna fit in my luggage stuff like that so i'm already thinking like um minimalism and just only like you know buying what is essential and paying attention to what is essential so that's been a huge perk and that's about all i got for this week Hopefully this video or the next video will be edited. I already noticed it was a 16 minute video. Bear with me. If you like the video, please do so below down here. Like, click like, or uh, subscribe also helps me out a lot. This is a lot of work. It's hard to do. You know, I'm moving up from having zero subscribers. And for all the people who have subscribed, thank you so much for doing that from my heart because it helps and this is something that I care about, something that I have a passion for and uh, really helps when people subscribe and like. So hope you like the video and I will see you guys next week.